All right, guys, now the foundation of DAS is called VDI. VDI stands for Virtual Desktop Infrastructure. Um, and what that is basically, I'm going to give you an overview of uh, what that looks like in today's environment. This is very simplistic. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make this very simple just to make a point, OK? So VDI starts in a server. And this is typically inside a business. On this server, something we put in there called a hypervisor. You're going to hear a lot more about a hypervisor here. And a hypervisor is basically, it's like an operating system or a piece of software. It's like Windows 10 that you put on a server that creates more virtual servers. So a hypervisor just creates virtual servers inside of a physical server. Okay, so this hypervisor creates one server. This is a virtual server. And it can create, you know, one or five or ten or hundreds of virtual servers. Now inside of this virtual server, we install what's called DAS software. We'll talk a little bit more about what that software is. Um, there are a few vendors of it. There's Microsoft and VMware and Citrix. There's, there's a number of vendors that create this DAS software. Within this DAS software, we're going to create what's called a golden image. And this is um, a, it's basically like a machine that you would have with all of your applications on it and all of the software on it. If we want to make a hundred of these machines, they're all going to come from the golden image. So it's a virtual machine that uh, holds everything that's going to be put on the other virtual machines. Then we're creating virtual machines from this DAS software. The golden image goes inside this virtual machine. And now we are creating um, hosts outside of this environment. So we have computers outside the environment here. And they're going to access this virtual machine. They all share the same virtual machine. They don't have to, but in many cases they do. This is called a session hosted environment. So what you've got here is that you've got one virtual machine that is being accessed by uh, three different sessions of users. So this could be a laptop, it could be uh, a, a desktop, it could be uh, an iPhone or an iPad, but they're all utilizing this, this one virtual machine. That's a session hosted environment. So now we're going to talk about a dedicated hosted environment. So we'll put another virtual machine over here. <laughs> and this is used for the power users out there. So if you have users that use like AutoCAD or they do a lot of Photoshop or videos or anything like that they, that utilizes a lot of compute, they don't want to share a virtual machine because their system's going to lag. It's going to go slower. So they have their own virtual machine. This is called a dedicated host. It's more robust. It's more predictable, uh, it's more powerful, but it's also more expensive. So these are the trade-offs that you use and that you find um, when dealing with a session hosted environment or a dedicated host environment. So what you see here is that with VDI, when you saw the last video of how the computers were spread out all over the place, this is one way that IT administrators can centralize all the computers in one place, or all of the compute, more specifically, centralize that in one place here using VDI. It's easier to manage. It's easier to spin these laptops up and down. Um, and everything is very centralized. The challenge is VDI is very complex. It involves a lot of technology a lot of training, a lot of knowledge, and it's not for the novice. It is riddled with minefields and disasters that can happen if it's not made properly, if it's not set up properly, and managed properly. In the next video, we're going to talk about Cloud VDI.